cheese curds too late, further alterations, unpredictability looming for Packers organization. Following the quarterback transition last year and a revamp of the coaching staff this year, the franchise is set to welcome a new chairman and CEO in the summer of 2025. While known for his statement, he's a complicated fella regarding the team's former quarterback, Mark Murphy's departure from his role as Green Bay Packers chairman and CEO is straightforward. As per the franchise's rules, Murphy is obliged to step down next summer upon reaching the age of 70. Succeeding Bob Harlan, who was arguably the most influential chairman for the team and orchestrated its turnaround in the early 1990s, Murphy always faced a challenging task. He faced early trials during his tenure as the Packers transitioned from Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers in his initial year leading the team. Since then, Murphy has managed changes in the general manager and head coach positions, as well as a second quarterback transition from Rodgers to Jordan Love. Throughout, he has played a role in guiding the team's financial standing and expanding its influence beyond Lambeau Field itself. His tenure will unofficially conclude next April, coinciding with the realization of one of his aspirations, hosting the 2025 NFL Draft in Green Bay. However, what does the future hold for finding Murphy's successor? The team disclosed some aspects of its search process on Wednesday, although the most probable candidate appears to be internally situated. The Packers Board of Directors will form a search committee, with Ed Policy likely at the forefront. Ed, the son of former San Francisco 49ers Chairman CEO Carmen Policy, has served as the team's general counsel since 2012. Initially as vice president and later advancing to chief operating officer in 2018, 2025 is poised to bring further change for the Packers. Hopefully, a change in leadership will coincide with a shift in playoff fortunes compared to the past 13 seasons. Packers announced procedure for CEO search. Search Packers.com. Murphy's retirement scheduled for the summer of 2025 after Green Bay hosts the NFL Draft follows a period of considerable change within the organization in recent years. Packers tailgate tour featuring current and former players to make stops in southern Wisconsin, PackersNews.com. One of Murphy's beloved annual events returns in April featuring players such as Kenny Clark, Elgton Jenkins, Brian Bulaga, and Mike Daniels. The tour will predominantly cover locations south of I-94, including Kenosha, Beloit, Platteville, and Sun Prairie. Matt LaFleur hires former Packers WR Miles White as assistant WR's coach, Packers. Why I remember White? He showcased his talent in the preseason of 2013 and made appearances in seven regular season games. Patriots Elliot Wolf set to lead personnel department. NFL.com After being overlooked for the Packers GM position in 2018, Wolf will finally head an NFL personnel department, following in his father's footsteps. He is also reportedly bringing on his former Green Bay colleague Alonzo Highsmith as his deputy. Packers defensive coordinator Jeff Hafley's NFL pass, defenses have struggled. Sports Illustrated Halfley's track record. Coaching defensive backs in the NFL hasn't been stellar, especially during a three-year tenure in San Francisco. However, those teams were plagued by injuries in the secondary, which may have contributed to their low rankings. Lil John to tone it down. Release guided meditation album, Consequence Sound. Apparently, meditation is the long-awaited answer we've been seeking over the past decade.